Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Iris shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing I will do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you want to do here is go to your search bar and search up for Iris shaders like so. Here you'll find the irisshaders.dev website, just click Iris Shaders, and this will bring you to the Iris Shaders homepage. Now all you want to do is click the blue download now button, and you want to click the download universal jar button here. And as it's a jar here, you might need Java for Windows to use the file. So what you want to do here is go to a new tab, and you only need to do this if you can't actually run the file. So you want to do basically JDK24, like so. And you'll have this website here called Oracle Java Downloads here. So I will have this in the description as well, but basically, once you click it, you'll find this page like so. Just do accept all. And you'll want to scroll down, and you'll find Java 24. Java 24 is selected for you by this green outline here on the bottom. And all you want to do here is just select Windows if you're using Windows. And you want to download the x64 installer with this link here. And now you just have to go ahead and install it, so you download, install it, go through the prompts, and then you'll be able to use iris installer. And as iris installer is used for shaders, you also need a shader, so basically, we can go ahead and go to a new tab and search up modwinf, like so, and modwinf.com here, just click on modwinf, and this is the modern form page. Here, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, and go down to shaders. Now. You have plenty of shaders you can choose, so I'm just going to honestly choose the most popular one in this case, but you just want to click the name of it. This brings you to the page for the shader, and here you want to go to versions, and you just want to select the latest file for it. It is a bit like resource packs, these usually work with the latest version, even though it is not updated instantly, so it's completely fine. So all you want to do here, it is just make sure you have your shader, you have iris, and you can run iris here, you can see we have a teacup icon, that's the java logo here. And if you do have all that, you can go ahead and close your web browser, and you can open up your downloads folder. Here, all you want to do is double click the iris installer, and if you have java installed, you should be able to run it like so, it should look like that. And here, you will be able to select a version, here you're going to keep the version selected for us, you can have iris only or iris plus fabric, so iris with mods, if you want to add some mods. And you can do install. And once the set's completed, you can close the installer and open up the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we can, well, open up the iris 1.5 install, but we can also add a shader. So here we see that we have iris and sodium here. And what you want to do here is go to the installation tab here. Here you want to hover over iris and sodium and go to the folder icon. Then all you want to do is go to the shader packs folder. So basically it is here. You might just scroll down. You have quite a few folders, but you want to go ahead and find the shader packs folder here. You want to double click it. And now all you want to do is go to your downloads folder. You want to select and copy complementary for example or your shader. You want to go to the top left arrow to go back to previous folder, which is back to shader packs in this case, and you want to click paste. And here, in the DOM Minecraft Shader Packs folder, you should have your shader. Now, all you want to do here is go back to the Minecraft Launcher. You want to go to Play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected, and click Play. And this will just download the Iris and Fabric, basically. Because this does use Fabric, even though Fabric is not available, it does work on Fabric. So, basically, all you want to do here is simply go ahead and wait for Minecraft to load up, like so. And now, here we have iris and sodium and fabric quote unquote so basically all you want to do here is test out the shader so we can go to a single player world for example i'll go to a tutorial world this works on servers as well as realms this is client side and here we have a minecraft world so for example what you want to do here is go to escape options video settings and you should see your shader packs button here so all you want to do here is click it, you will see your shader that you have added, just select it, it will become yellow and darken, and click apply. And it, it will, and it will just apply the shader to your Minecraft like so, you can escape everything, and there you go, you now have shaders 
for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So yeah, that's how we do that. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.